Great help. Help? Why? What's the matter? Jacob's been up all night. I don't know if he's coming down with something or he's teething or both. I can't get him to calm down. Well, he's asleep now. Yeah, of course he is, because that's in the baby manual. As soon as the mother ass starts acting like a freak show, the proof goes away. I, I don't need any proof. I completely believe you. What do you need? Oh, I lost all my prep time for the yeah. show because I was walking the floors all night with him. I didn't sleep at all, as I'm sure you can tell by the bags under my eyes. I don't see any bags under my eyes. You look and the fridge me. is making this really weird moaning sound all night coming from the kitchen. The fridge is on the fridge. So you are stressed out. Yes. I think it's pretty much impossible to do this alone. I don't know how single women do it. Well, it takes a village. At least that's what I've been told. I don't know why you didn't call me and ask me for help. I would have come right over. I know. Could have come over my PJs and we can make some popcorn. We can calm the little fella down. Then you and I could watch old movies all night. You're a genius. Yes, I am. No, seriously, Henry, you are. Why didn't I think of this myself? Uh, because of your job and your son and, and you're worried about being alone. And... That's just the thing. I don't have to be alone anymore. <sighs> Come on, sweetie, what's the matter? This is worse than last night. What's the matter, baby? I gotta get to work. What are we gonna do? Do you have a fever? Unless your kid is the next Mozart, she's not gonna answer you. You're a doctor? Clearly, well, you're not the next Mozart either. Will you look at my baby? Do I have to? <laughs> I mean, will you examine him? Are you kidding me? Um, you're a doctor. I have a sick child. Aren't you bound by some sort of oath to help me? I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure the oath is only binding on hospital property. This is a coffee shop. Seriously, you're not going to look at him? I'm sorry, I'm just a little stressed out because he's been like this since last night. And clearly you're here, and I'm here, but I don't know. I don't even know why I was asking a podiatrist about a baby anyway. I look like a podiatrist? You look like you have your foot up. Jacob, it's fine. I'll find you a real doc. Wait, hold on. I'll, I'll get your baby. If you walk out with him screaming like that, he's going to be labeled a menace to society before he cuts his first tooth. Yeah, I think your kid's developing his first ear infection. Really? Yeah, just, it's not a flu. Take him to your pediatrician. He'll slap an antibiotic on him. He'll be better in ten minutes. Uh, well, first of all, my pediatrician is she, and apparently she's on vacation according to her service. Do you have a, another pediatrician you could recommend? Well, I'm a podiatrist, remember? What do I know from pediatrics? I'm sorry I said that before. I was just a little stressed out, and you were being, um, not like you're being now. So... What kind of doctor are you? Neurosurgeon. You're a brain surgeon? Don't look so shocked. I'm sorry, just not what I expected. What did you think brain surgeons looked like? I don't know, but I thought they'd be a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. Sorry to disappoint. So you're new here, huh? Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to stay here any longer than I have to. I don't like Oakdale. No. I like being held against my will even less. What? It's a long story. What's the short version? The chief of staff here is basically my professional warden for the next month or so. The head cases are not the kind I like to deal with. And on top of that, I had to stay at a hotel last night. Not a big fan of hotels? They're germ farms. Sharing sheets and pillows with complete strangers. Eh. Thank God I have no problem sleeping in chairs. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go wash my hands. Your kid is a little germ breeder, too. You know, there are other options besides hotels, if you hate them so much. I'm just saying. What are you saying, exactly? <coughs> Sorry to interrupt. No, you're not. Ah, uh, do you have a minute? Just talk. Not really. This hospital's full of whining hypochondriacs. Must be something in the water. Well, I think you know that Noah's case is real. Like this guy, chronic fatigue. I want to ship him COD to a leper colony. See how tired he is then. Your treatment methods are very unorthodox. Oh, listen to you trying to sound all clever. You want to make me happy? Get me out of here. I don't enjoy being held hostage. Oh, but that wasn't my decision. That was the judge's. But as long as you're here, you might... Look, I don't do charity work. Unfortunately, your boyfriend's case falls under that category. As soon as my attorneys get these bogus charges dropped, I'm out of here. Even though he's the only patient in this town worthy of your genius? Look, if you do this, I will put in a good word for you with Dr. Hughes. 
and I'll get you out of here early. Maybe cut some of your legal fees. Wow. First blackmail, now bribery. <laughs> if it works, you bet. I know for a fact that Noah's case doesn't bore you. You bore me. That's enough of a reason as far as I'm concerned. You said that Noah's surgery and his recovery would be very time-consuming. You think you're going to win points by repeating my words back to me? I'm just saying, you're basically under house arrest here. Why not use this time to help Noah? Look, I realize that this is a small town and that your boyfriend may be the only blind guy within a hundred mile radius, but he's not the only patient at this hospital. Well, he's the only one that you care about. I have rounds to make. Yeah, yeah, I heard that that guy in the next room has this wicked case of athlete's foot. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to have a world-class neurosurgeon come in and help take that burning itch away. You really think you're endearing yourself to me, Mr. Snyder? Or should I say Mr. Grimaldi? Yeah, God bless the Internet. Your family's reputation precedes you. Though I gotta say, you're beginning to do it justice. First you offer money, and if that doesn't work, you move on to blackmail and bullying. Look... I don't want to blackmail you. I just want you to operate on Noah so he can see again. That's it. That's it? Okay, why didn't you say so? Here, call my office in Dallas. Schedule yourself an appointment. I should have an opening this time next year. If you're lucky, you can wait in line like everyone else. No? Okay. I can't be bought, and I'm not easily pushed around. That leaves you all out of luck, doesn't it? Well, maybe this risk will pay off. What would make you say that? Because your big bad brain surgeon would still be in Dallas instead of walking towards us right now. Dr. Oliver? Unless you're here for a flu shot, we have nothing more to say to one another, Mr. Mayor. I'll come pick you up later. Okay. Wait, hey, you can't just leave him here. What, what if he trips over a nurse? Dr. Oliver, please, just... Just hear me out. No, it's your turn to hear me, okay? I'm done dealing with you and your boyfriend. If I wanted somebody to follow me around here, I'd get a dog or an intern. <laughs> Luke, it do doesn't speak for me. You might want to tell him that. L Luke and I, I don't know what we are right now, okay? All I know is that I can't see, and you're the one man who can change that. You really think minimizing your relationship to me is going to change my mind about the surgery? <laughs> well, your problems are with Luke, not me. And your problems with him are mine. You don't like the way you got me out here, do you? Not really. Is that the big issue between you two? No. No, the, the accident that caused my loss of sight. If Luke could just listen to me, it might not have happened. Which is why I think he's acting the way he is. He's acting that way out of guilt. Not surprising. I, I have a question for you. What do you want? We want more. Do you want to get back at Luke for disrupting your life? Or do you want to add me to your growing list of successful operations? I haven't decided yet. How about you try? So I'm still blind, right? <laughs> Never heard that one before. Sorry. Oh, it's good. You're gonna need that sick sense of humor during your post-op recovery phase. Wait. Does that mean you're going to operate? I'm cautiously optimistic that I can reverse your condition. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, no, I need you to listen to me. I'm going to have to come up with some therapy protocols. I'm not going to go any further with this unless I can do that. And even then, I need you to be prepared to be let down. Because I'm not guaranteeing anything with or without the surgery. You got it? I do. I, I really do. There's something else that has to be in place if I'm going to agree to do this, and it's a deal breaker. Name it. Keep Mr. Snyder out of my orbit. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, deal. Noah? Luke? What are you doing here by yourself? I'm waiting for Maddie. Why are you here? Um, my dad called. Something happened to my mom. Oh, is she okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Did you, uh, find Dr. Oliver? Yeah, I found him all right. Ah, that bad, huh? Oh, it's that good. He said as long as the therapy progresses, he might actually go through with the surgery on me. He said all that? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm so happy for you. Let me go check on my mom, and, that, and then we, I'll drive you home. Um, actually, you're gonna go with Maddie. But we got so much to talk about. 
Um, you can't wait ten minutes for me. No, I can't, and um, you're gonna have to get used to that. What are you saying? Doctor Oliver doesn't want you around him at all, Luke. Ever. Meaning? Meaning, we have to stay away from each other, starting right now. <laughs>